If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced math concepts. In our previous lecture, we have seen what is frequency in the basic statistics. Today, we will learn about the frequency distribution that what is fre frequency distribution and how to make the frequency distribution table. So, as it is uh, uh, written, the definition of the frequency distribution that it's a tabular arrangement of the data. Tabular means in the form of tables. You have to arrange the data in the form of table where the data is classified, uh, will be classified into. If I um, just draw a simple scenario of the, of the frequency distribution is you have to classify the data in the form of groups in the table. So, this is a table where there is one group here, then second is here, third, fourth. These are the groups and we will have to mention the values corresponding to those groups here. So it means you have to make a frequency distribution table in order to make the data uh, more readable or uh, easy to understand. So frequency distribution refers to the classification of the data uh, basis, uh, on the basis of the count of occurrences of the values within that particular group. So you have to make the groups that is like group 1 is here, like group 2 is here, 3, 4, 5. These are the groups and you have to mention the, the, uh, the occurrences or the counts corresponding to the groups to, uh, uh, in front of these groups. But we have the two types of frequency distribution table. How they are class classified as one type is discrete frequency distribution and the other is continuous frequency distribution. In our today's lecture, we will just discuss the discrete frequency distribution and in the next lecture, we will see how you can make a continuous frequency distribution table. So these are basically the types of frequency distribution table. Today, we will first uh, learn how you can draw or how you can form the discrete frequency distribution table. So how it differs from the continuous frequency distribution? As its name indicates, basically this type of uh, uh, fre uh, frequency distribution table is basically used where you have a uh, uh, countable or the limited number of occurrences or the number of values where we have the limited or definite number of occurrences. So let's have an example from where you will understand its concept better as so here we have an example where you have to make a frequency distribution table. But the, keep one thing in mind that here we are talking about discrete frequency distribution because here the data is countable or you can say a limited data or a small data, any word you can use or you can say a countable, a word, somewhere it is also used a countable data or a definite data. So when you came across such data, you have to use a discrete frequency distribution table. So for, for that case, you have to uh, note some uh, values from this data. As according to this data, that of number of car accidents in 20 days with daily number of car accidents are, is this data. It means on one day, the number of car accidents were four. On another, on the next day, it will, it were four three, then two, then one, then two, then five. These are the number of accidents on daily basis for 20 days. So it means you have the variable. What is the variable here? Keep one thing in mind. You have to first mention what is the variable here so that for this is it will be helpful for you. So variable here is number of accidents. So number of accidents are is variable here and Keep this in mind while making the discrete frequency distribution table. One variable value will represent one class. So one variable value will represent one class or one instance and it should not be repeated. Like if we have four and we have multiple four in the data, we will consider it as one. So one variable is equals to one class. Then we have to point out the largest and the smallest value of the variable. So smallest value is, what is the smallest value here? Smallest value is 1 and the largest value is, is what? Largest value is 7. Now check that how many different number of values are here other than the repeat, uh, repeated ones. We have to count the repeated values as 1. So total number of values are how many? Let's check. Let's check out number of values or the definite values that are not repeated, that are not repeating are, let's encircle them. One is four, 
3, 2, 1. Then we have to leave the 2 as we have already counted it out. Then we have 5, 7. Then leave 2. Then leave 5. And 3, 2, 5, 7, 3, 1, 1, 4, 3, 3, 4, 4. So all these values are repeating. So we have to take only those values that all, all these values once. So how many number of classes will be? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It, will, it means number of values or classes will be 6. So there will be 6 classes. So the 6 classes we have to make 6 rows in the frequency distribution table. So here we have the frequency distribution table where we have 3 columns. One is number of accidents. Then we have tel tally mark and then the frequency. So let's uh, start, uh, draw, uh, start uh, drawing the table as first of all we have to write the number of values that is the six different classes. Starting from the small we have the smallest value, uh, uh, class is one. Then we have two, then three, then four, then five and then seven. Now we have to check that how many times these classes are occurred or the occurrence of these values. So for that each occurrence for each occurrence we will have one tally mark so we have to look at the data how many times one appears in the data so i'll encircle the one with the red so this is one this is two this is three it means three times the one has occurred so we have to write three tally marks like this tally mark is basically the representation of of uh, is simply a representation of the frequency then we have to check the two for 2, I will select a different color that is green. How many times 2 occurred? 1, 2, 3, 4 and that's it. So, we will ha have to write it 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then, three. how many times 3 has occurred? So, 3 is this 1, this 2, 3 and 4. So, I will write 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will write 1, 2, 3, 4 again. So we have to write these tally marks in the form of frequencies as there are 3 tally marks. So I will write 3 here. There is 4 tally marks. So I will write 4. Then it is also 4. It is also 4. And it is 3. And it is 2. So this is the frequency distribution table or the discrete frequency distribution table of the given data so keep this in mind that such data the such table table will be applicable or will be valid only when you have the data that is countable or for which you can have uh, the, the one class for each mm, variable value otherwise you have to use the continuous frequency distribution table in our next lecture we have seen we will see how you can form the continuous frequency distribution table so that's all from today's lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you